Actually, that's spot on. <laughs> spot on. <laughs> Competition that try to compete. Everything is spot on. Yo, what's up, family? Welcome back to Spot On Sports. This is another episode of My Point Exactly. Got some my brothers in the building. Trey, Wayne, how y'all doing? What's up, everybody? Peace, man. Hot takes to me, man. man it's Super Bowl week, man. Super okay. Bowl week. Super Bowl 55 on the horizon. But before we get into the Super Bowl news, let's talk about some more recent news that's been going on this week in the NFL. Matthew Stafford had a mega trade with Delta to the L.A. Rams in exchange for Jerry Goff. Goff wanted to get out of there. He was unhappy. Stafford has now been set free. Trey, you've been talking about this. Hey, oh, man, send my boy free. free. About a year oh, now, send my boy while. free, dog. He's been asking for it. And now he's shipped out to the West Coast and playing for a Rams team that was just competing in the NFC Championship. So, I mean, how do y'all feel about this trade? Do you feel like the, did the Rams give up too much by giving away two first-rounders and a second-rounder? Or do you think it was just right for the Rams? Who going first? Wayne, I'll let you go first. All right. Um, I feel like Detroit won this trade. I mean, not Detroit. They lost this trade, and the Rams won this trade. I'm going to say this because, one, the Detroit Lions, is, um, in my eyes, is a dysfunctional organization. That organization has all the talent in the world and still don't know how to win the games. We could blame it on the coaching staff. You could blame it on the players. There's some reason they don't know how to play when they're actually on there with all that talent on the team. They always high in the draft each year. Um, I just feel like they're in re- rebuild mode, so Jared Goff won't be doing much. I know he got something to prove, you know, vengeance, and, you know, he was a former first rounder, got paid millions, and he's being shipped off like it's nothing. I just feel like Detroit ain't really going to do a lot. They're still in rebuild mode. Galladay and Mom Jones are currently in a free agent watch list, so I feel like they both are going to be gone. Defense is still young, got a lot of players on that side, but for some reason the coaching ain't very well over there. But Anthony Lynn is coming over as offensive coordinator, and we may see what changes they can have on offense and defense. On the Rams side of the ball, this is a, um this is a risk move they just did. This is one and done right here. When Matthew Stanford coming in and you just risk your future first future three round picks, I feel like um. The, the Rams got to go to the Super Bowl next year. They have to go far. We're not putting pressure on Stanford, but we is because McVay got his guy. And Stanford, you're a pretty good quarterback. Anybody else think elsewise, you're crazy. I just feel like Detroit lost his tree and Rams has to go to the Super Bowl. Trey, what you guys say? I know Stanford, your boy. Hey, man, I've been saying, well, Steph, I'm a boy. You got the Texas kid as the most dysfunctional franchise in the NFL. The Detroit Lions, then they ran off Barry Sanders. They ran off Megatron. And they finally did right by a player and traded Stafford in the middle of his mm. football intellect prom. Uh, I don't feel like this trade was too much because it's really – they gave a one and a three for Stafford. And then they gave them an extra one just to take Jerry Goff. Even though the Lions said they want Jerry Goff. I don't know why because – Ever since that Super Bowl, he really ain't did nothing. Um, he's gone down. The offense don't look as good. It seems like McVay been trying to babysit him. And I just think after watching him talk to Aaron Rodgers after the, uh, the, they lost to him in the NFC division round, it's like McVay was – he's tired of babysitting the quarterback. He wants a quarterback that can make all the throws, that can do what he needs to do on the field. And um, I think that's Matthew Stafford, dog. Uh, Aaron Rodgers was on Pat McAfee's show, like, towards the end of last year. And he was just he was big enough, Matthew Stafford, because he talking about that's about Patrick Mahomes and no look passes. And he said there's this quarterback that were number nine, Detroit, they've been doing that for years, man. So he, he got the the respect of his peers. And I think a lot of people think Matthew Stafford is not good for what happened in Detroit. Man, he's an actually mm-hmm. good quarterback, man. He he just been he played like on the three or four uh, head coaches and a lot of stuff. That just 
their franchise is dis- dysfunctional. And uh, Dwayne, you said about the Rams, like first round pick, they mortgage their future. I don't think so. Because if you think about it, if you go back to the Jerry Goff draft, they've, they've traded every first round pick since that draft. They, yeah. traded, they traded for Marcus Peters. They traded for Jalen Ramsey. They, they did not trade for Matthew Stafford. It just seemed like they don't care about first round picks. They like to play, they rather have proven players over the picks. Uh, and I also think a lot of stuff I've been hearing is that McVay, uh, and he rubbed his players kind of the wrong way, like Goff and Gurley, because he they feel like he gets he try to take all the credit when they win, and then when they lose, he, he kind of like try to blame the players. So I think mm-hmm. Goff wanted I think Goff wanted out, and uh, I think this is bad for Goff because now he's gonna be seen as a bridge quarterback because we all know they're just gonna use him for like the next two years until they can find somebody. And then yep, once you get absolutely. labeled, once, once you get labeled that bridge quarterback, it's kind of hard to like shred that label off yourself. So mm-hmm. I think uh, I think Stafford won because now he fi- he finally got a running game. I've been saying for years get a boy a running game. You know McVay gonna run the ball with Cam Akers. He has a top five defense with Jalen Ramsey right. and Aaron Donald, and um, he has a coach and he has a culture. So uh, I love Matthew Stafford. He has no excuses at the. At, with the Rams, like there's no excuses at all. If he don't win, uh, at least like Wayne said, at least make the division round and, f- and push to make the NFC Championship game or on verge of the Super Bowl in the next, I'd say, because he got two years. So the next two years, he has yeah. to play at least in one Super Bowl. And um, I just feel like if he don't do that, then it kind of gives his crit- his critics some credence what happened in Detroit. But I think he's going to do wonderful things out there in L.A. With his, you know his boy Clayton Kershaw there, too. Yeah. So, Trey, do you think – I know y'all heard about him saying he didn't want to go to New England due to Matt Patricia. So you think if Matt Patricia went in New England, would he be the Patriots quarterback? I don't. I, I don't know, man. I think uh, Stafford probably wanted. And I don't think he. I think he wanted to go out west because, from what I've been reading, uh, his him and McVay had a relationship. I yeah, think his wife. Knew, they known each other. Yeah, his wife is like friends with McVay somehow down the line or something, bro. Like some crazy stuff going behind the scenes. So I think he wanted, and I think uh, I think Clayton Kershaw called him up and told him how good LA is, man. He, I'm like, yeah, man, it's good out here in LA, dog. We got palm trees, and it don't never so, rain, dog. It's sunny. So if the Rams, if the Rams don't win, or at least, let's say if the Rams don't at least make a Super Bowl appearance, is this trade a failure on the Rams' part? I said the next two years because. Uh, I won't say all next year, but the next two, because he's under contract for two more years, and it's a relatively cheap deal. So I think they should at least make the they they gotta make the because the NFC is wide open. Like to me, in the mm-hmm. NFC, there's no Patrick Mahomes. Like everybody know the AFC goes to Kansas City, bro. Because as long as Patrick Mahomes there, that that's where the AFC gonna go to. In the NFC, to me, it's wide, like Aaron Rodgers has proven since that first Super Bowl that he he loses the NFC Championship game. Um, Drew Brees is retiring. Um, the Eagles, who won a Super Bowl for years ago, they fell apart. Russell Wilson ain't been to the Super Bowl since they lost in New England. Russell Wilson, on and on. Yeah, yeah, so, like, I think the NFC is it's wide open. Like, so the Rams, if, if they can keep their defense, because they're according to the left and went to the Chargers, if they can keep their defense on the up and up with Ramsey and Darnold, man. Like, they, they got a shot to be in the Super Bowl next year. Receivers got to stay healthy, too. Cup got to stay healthy. Bro, if I'm Cooper right. Cup and Robert Woods, I'm happy as hell, bro. <laughs> I'm happy. We can run. We can run every route on the route tree now. Oh man, and, and uh, golf probably he could, his deep ball over the last few years has gone down. And Matthew Stafford got one of the prettiest deep balls in the NFL. So yeah, uh, Matthew Stafford tra- transitioning from big receivers to now small receivers. Not saying it's a problem, but Galladay and Jones compared to Cooper Cup and Robert Woods, that's a slight, it's a big difference. They no. both, all of them, is great, but that's a, it's a difference. I think uh, Matthew, to me, Matthew Stafford became a better quarterback when Megatron retired because early in his career, like you said, he just stole that ball up. He didn't care. Like three, I, I remember the game against the Cowboys when Megatron had 300 yards, bro. He was over three people. He just slanging that right. He didn't care. I think like, he actually became a better quarterback because he got to adjust to like not having, like you said, big receivers. But I think he's going to have so many wide open receivers being schemed open mm. by Big Bay, bro. He's going he gonna to love it, man. As long as he can stay healthy. That they need to get some offensive linemen and, and keep on letting them late picks. They should be good, man. You you see the whole NFL rated there. The, the Rams will be doing something right because you've been paying attention to like the front office stuff and the coaches stuff, bro. They got rated, bro. Like they coaches got rated. Like the 
passing game coordinator in Seattle, the uh, the assistant GM, he the GM in Detroit. Uh, mm-hmm. Some specialist, some special assistant went with him to Detroit. Bro, they got right in uh, the defensive coordinator tape. He took people from the Rams, bro. So they must be doing something right. They're not a build an organization. Everybody wants their coaches and their uh, front office people. Well, LA is definitely a hot spot, and I can definitely say they got him a superstar for Matthew Stafford. Definitely can be a game changer. Speaking of game.